Hello and welcome to Clarified Solutions four part series centered upon data. This is the third topic of discussion, when to use qualitative versus quantitative data. Thus far we've discussed a fairly broad range of topics. In the first session we discussed meaningful data and how this can be contributed to and interpreted. And then in our second session, we discussed the feelings of information overload from data and how it can actually be used to your advantage. So today we're going to be talking about a subject which is something that I'm constantly thinking about and balancing in the different copywriting projects that I do. When to use qualitative data versus quantitative data. Now, my personal opinion is that a balance of both is essential. One supports the other. The quantitative data runs people through the narrative of how a particular data point is reached. The qualitative data gives a sense of the scale and scope of potentially research participants or dollars spent or whatever particular unit of measurement is being used for that particular data insight. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an even split. It really is contextually dependent upon the sort of subject matter that you're representing. For example, if you are an actuarial specialist, you most certainly are going to be using a lot of qualitative data. If you're a sociologist, quantitative data taken from your field research is going to be of prime importance. And for people who aren't really used to using particular data insights to back up statements made or to put forward a very compelling narrative or write a proposal, then it's great to take this initial opportunity to consider which is of benefit at different points of time in the writing or in the discussions that you may be having. Qualitative data is often given more credence. The reason being is that there is less room for interpretation and there are more clear parameters set around it. Quantitative data relies on a sense of a common set of understanding of beliefs, of the social context that surrounds it or the professional context within the social context that surrounds it. So it depends which particular angle you're wanting to come from. For example, in my experience of writing federal and state government grants and tenders, there is a clear preference for both to be present with a slight emphasis on qualitative data. For example, what sort of financial impact would this particular project have on the overarching position of that business and its financial sustainability? Or it could be in terms of being able to quantify how many jobs a particular project would create or support from the existing pool of employees within the business. When quantitative data comes into play is often to demonstrate the particular writers or the group that are being represented, their subject matter expertise. For example, it could be reflecting upon the insights gained from a conference that was attended several months prior or insights gained from peer reviewed articles uh, that are determining uh, projections of the future uh, trend of that particular market all of which I have used in previous works and have been incredibly beneficial to build a much more nuanced tapestry of a story around a particular topic. So when to use qualitative or quantitative data? Of course, you also need to be able to have access to accurate qualitative data, as was discussed in the first episode in this particular series check out the series uh, episode below. Uh, in terms of quantitative data, it's important to be a story gatherer, always considering how different experiences can inform the next and also create lessons for you and for your team. 
Quantitative data is something that is gathered over a relatively um, long period of time, or it could be a short, sharp insight into a particular experience that you have had. So my suggestion would be to oscillate between the two and gently and carefully merge this information so it's not simply presenting as a string of factual evidence and then a lengthy story and then the same repeated cycle or pattern in that particular um, piece of writing or presentation that's being done. So I'm keen to hear your thoughts around this. Which do you feel most comfortable using in your work papers? Is it qualitative or is it quantitative? And why is this? What about your professional experience has led you towards that point and that particular preference? I'm keen to see your comments below and I'm looking forward to further discussions. As always, I wish you all the best and every success. Take care. Thank you for joining us to uplevel your business skills and knowledge. Click the links below and subscribe to the Clarified Solutions social media platforms to receive regular updates. Weekly resources will be provided along with gifts to assist you in your journey in upleveling your business expertise and confidence. We look forward to continuing to support you in your journey as you become the leaders and the business experts you wish to be.